Welcome back to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week we're here at our sponsor, Orinari, located in the Dallas Design District, and they offer solutions, whether it's in your kitchen, or your closet, or in the bathroom. It's all about storage and being efficient. Here's a great solution. An oven, a coffee maker, these are all important parts of the kitchen, but really, you definitely need storage, and here's a great solution that they offer within the closet. All this and more can be found here at the showroom located at 1617 Highline Drive, Suite 190A, or you can visit them at orinari.com. This week we have an incredible lineup. We visit an architecturally significant home in Highland Park, stop by Barry Whistler Gallery and see the work by Jay Shin, and lastly, Modern Dallas Architeria's chats with Spanish architect Antonio de la Carrera. Stick around for the art scene, the calendar, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. The kitchen is the heart of the modern home and should be both highly functional and beautiful to behold. You'll find renowned showrooms to help you create a kitchen that's a modern masterpiece. Orinari, the luxurious Brazilian showroom, offers you the highest quality of life with signature custom designs, while maintaining a strong commitment to sustainability. Known for using diverse colors, textures, and raw materials, while blending local taste with modernist style. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is here at 3908 Euclid. It's a magnificent, architecturally significant home, and I'm here with Martha Tyner, with Dave Perry Miller. But this is also part of the Heritage Auction that's coming up on December the 13th. And Martha, more importantly to the auction, we'll talk about that later. But tell us about this home. Well, this home was started and built, the architect was Joe McCall with Oglesby Green. They started building this house in 1991. It took three years to build, so it was quite a long process, very detailed on everything. The owner is an architect, so that was part of her, her love, was doing all this. And uh, going through, you'll see all the details with the moldings, the trims, the limestone. You've got steel windows, hope steel windows that are insulated. You've got wonderful natural light, even on the cloudiest day. And I've actually been here for a party when they had lightning and it was phenomenal just to sit in here, which she used this room as a banquet hall sometimes. And um, it's just a wonderful home. It's got really certain areas to it, like the front yard. They put the big hedge there because they really used the front yard. They used to have a trampoline there and kids from the neighborhood would just show up. She didn't even know who they were out there jumping. So it was just kind of fun. And in the backyard is this beautiful live oak that has just grown and grown and grown and looks like a sculpture, as you said. It really is gorgeous and it's all lighted, so at night it looks just wonderful. But it just has lots of different parts to it, lots of good natural light, um, very family oriented, um, a lot of hobbies in the house here. We have a six car garage. The husband was a race car driver, so we have lots of uh, air-conditioned garages and regular garages, all those sort of fun, fun things if that's your hobby. Um, but it's just a wonderful home and um, they've kind of lived through it, grown through it, and now they're going on to a different life. And it's interesting because the house was built in 93, as you said, and when you walk into this house today, oh. it feels like this is brand new. Yeah. Oh, and that goes, harkens back to the quality of materials, yes. uh, of, you know, the limestone, the maple, but it, it gives you a sense of openness. Yes. And that's true modern. You really bring the outside in. Absolutely. I mean, from the bedrooms with the trees, where you feel like you're in a tree house, to the, the, the den with the fireplace and all the glass just coming through. It's just wonderful. So tell us some of the features and benefits of the house. Well, one of the fun features is this water feature right here. So when you don't really hear it, when you, but when you come into the house, it's very calming to have that water flow going on. And it's just been a nice factor um, for parties. I mean, when she's had parties here, it's just been kind of fun and a little bit different. So the exit area, uh -huh. obviously on the front end, you have a beautiful uh, hedge, which gives such privacy. But on the back, which was actually the yard was designed by landscape architect David Hocker. Correct. It's an interesting space. It really is. Um, 
And there's lots of different spaces and how they can be used from like you said, the motor court area where it's a great space for kids to bicycle or hop, play soccer or even have your high school reunion there like we did and set up 20 tables. Um, it's just, all, there's lots of spaces out there to use for different ways. And it kind of just depends on where, where the family is at that time and how they're using it. Yeah, and one of the beautiful things, it is low maintenance. Yes. It has a... Uh, Mosquito necks, which is wonderful to have. If you've got kids out there running around, even if mom and dad want to be out there running around, it's, it's a, a very usable space. On the auction site, it is being auctioned by Heritage Auctions. You can visit them at ha forward slash Euclid but the house will be open four days prior to the 13th from 1 to 5 p.m. You can register and be a bidder if you go to the website and get all the details. And if you'd like more information about modern homes in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Thanks, Martha. Inside Bow Concept, you'll discover a refined balance of classic, Danish sensibilities and modern innovation that has been the essence of urban Danish design since 1952. Bow Concept designers combine ultimate luxury and urban functionality as they create custom, personalized designs with you as the focus. The results are timeless, beautiful pieces with international appeal. Modern Dallas Art This Week is here at Barry Whistler Gallery and we're here to see the work of Jay Shin. And just so happens, Jay happened to be here and great to have you part of the show. Great, thank you. I'm it's, glad to be here. Oh, always a pleasure and uh, I have been, you may not know, a huge fan of your work over the years. Oh man, that's nice. <laughs> and it's even greater now to see this, this body of work which sort of lends itself to some of the light-based work you've done in the past, yes. but a whole new journey. Right. Tell us how you integrated this, the new and the old, and came up with this okay. body of work. Okay. Well, this work is all done like within the last year anyway, pretty much in 2016. And as we stand in front of this piece, I've been working with projections for some time now, probably about eight years, mainly with projected light on painted surfaces. This is one of the first ones where I've combined the projection along with neon piece, neon work. Uh, neon is something else I work in for the, I have been working in for the last few years. So this opportunity at Barry Whistler with this space gave me a chance to push that that I've been exploring and put it together using both the neon and that in an architectural space, which is very much a part of the architectural space, site specific piece. So obviously this is neon lighting, yeah. yes. these pieces over here, what is the impetus for the uh, these came about as I've been working on a large commission down in Houston for the last year and a half or so, uh, working with a lot of fabricators and things going on. These are going back to my painting roots, you might say, where I started this project, uh, Pool Party, working with this one shape with as many colors as I can uh, in as many different shapes, kind of pushing that to exhaustion to a point where there are no more. I've done about 110 of these pieces, but they derive from illusion and an implied illusion, uh, pushing color with vibration and light in the wood pieces, but just pushing the imagery. And those, this closed form really came about through my projections. The form itself was found by doing my projections early on. From 2010, I started working with this one overall silhouette shape. And obviously it's powerful the, the larger the uh, the piece oh, compared yeah. to the smaller but they're smaller. both tremendous pieces of work thanks thanks the gold in the frames mm -hmm. similar they what? have they derive from the uh from the wood pieces the images on these gold frames were basically lifted from those and then expanded upon to keep pushing a similar image through that and, and like I say they did come the smaller gold pieces came from the adirondack series that's right over here and then the larger one also came from that, but it, it was pushed a little bit and extorted out. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, ask you, what's your background? Background? Well, I, uh, I've always been an artist since I was seven years old, I guess, mainly painting and drawing. I went to Kansas City Art Institute, and while I was there, I had the opportunity to go to Skowhegan, but I was working both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. I grew up in a family of, of builders, architects, and I've always been interested in that and how that comes together on working with buildings. After college, I was involved 
and some hotel development projects in that that allowed me to use that side of my brain, I guess. And that ties back into with my studio now, with what with my art practice. Well, it's interesting. That answer gives us the definition of this body of work because oh. it all fits in architectural, oh. sculptural. It's a wonderful collection. We appreciate you well, being part you. of the show, Jay. Thanks, it's great to talk to you. I'm My pleasure. To do this. And you can see the show here at Barry Whistler Gallery at uh, 315 Cole Street, Suite 120, or visit them at barrywhistler.com. And if you want all the arts listings in Dallas, visit our website, moderndallas.net. Thanks. All right, thank you. The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work, including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. Modern Dallas Architerias this week is here with Antonio de la Carrera, a Spanish architect now living in Dallas. Antonio, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to, to Dallas. Well, I was born and raised in Madrid and that's, that's where I attended college and got my master's degree in architecture, so I'm a licensed architect in Spain. And uh, right after college, I had the chance to work with two of the greatest architectural firms in Spain, uh, collaborating in one of the biggest civil projects, which is the Terminal 4 of the New Airport of Barajas in Madrid. One of those firms is Lamela Architects. It's a Madrid-based architectural firm. The other one is Richard Rogers, and both of them are among the best modern architectural, or architectural firms in the world. So after that, I moved to the U.S. following my wife. Um, we live in Chicago. Boston and for a short period of time in Mexico City. So all that traveling and all that exposure to great big cities give me the modern perspective that I deliver today in my projects. So, so with all that experience, obviously you see a niche here in Dallas. That's correct. And one of the things that you focus mainly on is green sustainable homes. Tell us a little bit about that process and how you integrate that into your uh, design. Practice. Well, when I moved first here, my first commission was uh, home for my wife's cousin. It was, and they requested a modern, sustainable concrete home. So I started to do some research and I find out that uh, most of the homes here are built in frame construction, so wood, as we speak, and um, they're not that efficient, really. So I was doing some research and I came along with a product that he's, it has been using it has been used here in Dallas for a short period of time and it's called this. It's ICF and basically it's a two panel sandwich where you fill it with concrete in the middle. And this system alone accounts for 60% of savings from a regular frame construction home. So this is the way to go if you want to build a, mo a modern, energy sufficient, sustainable home. So basically that the, the styrofoam yes. is part of the construction, it ends up this is part of the construction and the nice thing is that you have a continuous insulation on the outside and on the inside so that brings your energy efficiency up to 60% as I said and then you can have any finish that you type on the inside or the outside. You can have stucco, you can have stone, wood, so it's a very versatile product to use and a very strong one. And one of the other things is you've integrated an interesting AC solution recently. Yeah, I found out that uh, most of the and HVAC systems that we use are the standard ones, that the ones that you have in your home or we have. It's like heat pumps or regular furnaces. But uh, in Europe, they're using uh, what they call the mini splits. That it's a, it's basically it's a smaller system. It's 50% more energy efficient than anything on the market right now. And the nice thing is that gives you the flexibility of heating or cooling different zones of the house. So in, for example, if you want to have your master bathroom and your master bedroom connected, you just turn on the heat or the cool and you just use that energy in those rooms. So you don't have to heat the whole house or cool the whole house. And that's another thing that accounts for another 20% of savings on the, uh, on the energy bill. So if you combine the ICF with the mini splits, 
I'm guessing that you could achieve up to 90% of the savings. Wow, it's significant. Yes. And all this is in a modern home. You can do it in any type of home, but I think the modern home is more suitable for this type of construction systems. So one of the reasons we're together today is you've had great experience with Oranari kitchens. Yes. Tell us about using Oranari, why you select them, and, and how's it been going? Well, as I said, uh, most of my designs are modern. I'm completely focused on modern design. So when I was looking for a kitchen for my clients that can go along with my designs, I came along with Ornare and uh, let me tell you this. I think that the kitchen is one of the hearts of the houses. So you spend a, a great deal of time there. There's a lot of entertaining and you go always, the families go along to the kitchen area. So when I contacted Ornare, I found two things. One, that they have an amazing product. They have a really high quality finishes and, and hardware. And the second thing is that they have a really knowledgeable staff and really professional. They go with you all the way during the design process and even during construction, if you need to do minor adjustments, they're willing to help you that, with that too. So with those two reasons are the ones that bring me to use them. It's fantastic. I appreciate you being part of the show today. It's enlightening to learn what's available when you're building a modern home to make it green, sustainable and save money. Yes. We appreciate it. Thanks for being part of the show. Thank you so much. Yes. My pleasure. Thanks. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV on the art scene, all the galleries have new work and next week's Thanksgiving, visit our website and maybe plan a trip to some of the galleries in town. On the calendar of events, the Dallas Architecture Forum has their Dallas Trails and Bicycle Initiative coming up on November the 16th. Visit our calendar page with all the details and times. Open houses every week. We have an incredible selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour. It may be a few on Saturday, but a bunch on Sunday. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in town. For this week, like every week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.